Ryan, data from the Illinois Secretary of State reveals more than 1,100 deaths and crashes in 2020. Alcohol played a role in nearly one quarter of them. News since 5, WGEM's Dylan Smith reports on a mock DUI crash in Macomb today to show students the dangers of driving while intoxicated. Dylan. Well, Daniel, the scene was about as realistic as you could get without it being a real actual crash. Now, on average, one person dies about every 45 minutes in an alcohol-related crash. Organizers hope today's event helps decrease that number. It starts with a call for help. First responders arrive, finding one person dead, three others wounded, and the one responsible taken away in handcuffs. This decision that they make could ultimately kill themselves or kill other students. Dozens of students watch what could happen to them if they don't make the right decision. It's an eye-opener. It shows me, like, what really goes on. Macomb freshman Jackson Skiles was a victim of the crash. It was pretty scary. It's probably one of the scariest things that I've been in. Um, I, it shows me that I don't want to be in something like that. My great aunt, she was hit and killed by a drunk driver when she was pregnant. And my mom was also hit by a drunk driver two times. Western EMS Special Projects Officer Sydney Ringberg knows all too well the dangers of drunken driving. Even if you're a passenger in a vehicle with a drunk driver, you still are making that decision to put yourself in that position and just really utilize your other resources and never result to something like that. The Illinois Secretary of State reports 85 drivers were arrested in 2020 for driving under the influence in McDonough County. More than 20,000 arrested statewide. It's sickening. It's heartbreaking that someone thought that that was an okay decision to make. And ultimately, they took the life of someone I knew very closely. I would definitely make sure, like, to make sure not to have anybody drunk or make better decisions while driving. Students in Macomb and Bushnell celebrate their proms on Saturday. Western Illinois University has hosted the mock crash for 33 years. Dylan Smith, WGEM News. All right, thank you, Dylan. And we dig deeper into the numbers behind alcohol-related crashes on our website, WGEM.com.